In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, before we enter the sacred mysteries, let us take a moment to look at our failures and ask God for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you heal the wound of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show his servants what, what must happen soon. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant, John, who gives witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ by reporting what he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud and blessed are those who listen to the prophetic message and heed what is written in it, for the appointed time is near. John, to the seven churches in Asia, grace to you and peace from him who is and was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne. I heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Ephesus, write this, the one who holds the seven stars in his right hand and walks in the midst of the seven gold lampstands says this, I know your works, your labor, and your endurance, and that you cannot tolerate the wicked. You have tested those who call themselves apostles but are not and discovered that they are imposters. Moreover, you have endurance and have suffered for my name and you have not grown weary. Yet I hold this against you. You have lost the love you had at first. Realize how far you have fallen. Repent and do the works you did at first. Otherwise I will come to you and remove your lampstand from its place unless you repent. The word of the Lord. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Those who are victorious, I will feed from the tree of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the ways of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of God and meditates on his law day and night. Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, 
but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who are victorious I will feed from the tree of life. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging. And hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him. And when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, have sight. Your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> we have five senses, and sometimes we have six, six senses. And the people say that women have six senses. And when one of our senses is disabled or weak, the other sense will be stronger. And I remember when my mom was with me, he, especially close to the time when she almost died, she could not walk at all, and she could not even sit up. The only posture she could do was lay, laying in bed. And every time when we, I mean her children, came to her, and the way we just did was that we put our head close to her head, and she wrapped our neck, and then we, can, we could raise her up. And her, you know, her whole body was very weak and, and almost like wither, but her hands were very strong. Until the last minute of her life, she, her hands was ve were very strong because her whole body was weak. And today we see the blind man. He lost his sight, but he uses his ear to listen. And the main thing is that when he, he only hears the noise, the, 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 the noise of the crowd, he doesn't know what happened. But he asks, and people tell him that Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. And immediately he shouted out loud, Jesus of Nazareth, son of David, help me. And then people, people don't, don't have any idea why he says that. So, so they, they try to tell him to shut up. But he keeps shouting out loud, son of David, help me. Then Jesus stops by and heals him. And we, when we read 
when we listen or when we read this passage of gospel, we think of ourselves. We have five or even six senses, but do we see any sense in our five or six? It's weak. And I believe that many of us, many of us could look, but we might not see. And I, I love English because English has different ways to, to say look and see. Vietnamese just have one word. So we, we, it's very difficult for us to, to give a, a clear explanation. But in English, we have look and see. We can look. Every one of us can look. But something we might not see especially at the table of the Lord. We can look, everyone can look at a chalice and a ciborium. We can look at wine and we can look at bread. But sometimes and many times and many people cannot see that they are blood and body of Christ. If we have that problem, do we or should we or shall we or will we shout out loud to God and say, God, help me? And in the, 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 um, the song of um, when we have Eucharistic adoration, um, tantum ego. There is the verse like this: "Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail." So when our feeble senses fail, we ask God to increase our faith so we can see. And I, th I have one good news to bring you that start from this new year. Every last Friday of the month at 6 o'clock, we will have Eucharistic adoration in the church. Do you want to repeat? Last Friday at 6 o'clock every month, we will have Eucharistic adoration over here. And I encourage you to come and spend time with Jesus. And when we spend time with Jesus, we, we will have a chance to sing this song, Tantum Ego, and sing it and make it our own prayer. And we don't we don't wait for that, that night. Today, now, in some more minutes, we will look at bread and wine on the table. And if we cannot see, we ask God, help us to see. To see that that very simple and tasteless bread is a true presence of Jesus Christ. And some people have big trouble about that. And the study, the recent study in America saying that in this country, 60% of adults don't believe in the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. They look, but they cannot see. And they try not to see. That is a problem. Even every time when they hear, they listen to harmony or to teaching of the church, they deny to see. And in fact, 
there were some people in this very community coming to me and fight against me when I mentioned about the true presence of Jesus in the Eucharist. They deny to see. So we continue asking God, asking Jesus to open our eyes, to see Jesus in the true, in, in his true presence in the Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, Jesus brought healing, comfort, and new life to those who believed. Let us join our prayers of intercession for our needs and the needs of the world. Attentive to the call of faithfulness, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christian churches may shine as lamps of good and loving works, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer that apostles and teachers may remain true to what has been revealed in Christ, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That students of scripture may read with hearts open to God's message for today, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That for those who love each other that has been lost, that they may rediscover what joined them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer that the sick may find the help they need to endure through weariness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And that the dead may be gathered among the blessed, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Loving Father, you are always near to us. Hear these prayers, which we make with confidence in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
grant, O oh Lord, we pray, that what we offer in this sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain for us the price of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You, <coughs> you form human beings in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. You rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. <coughs> you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it, to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, <clears throat> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Francis and Claire, and with all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs> At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <coughs> deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Now, let us share that very peace of Christ with one another. And with those at home, I remind you again that you are not alone. You always communicate with us with the, through the Eucharist and through the communion of saints. Peace be with you at home. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. What do you look today? I am walking. <laughs> and today is the first day after six months I could um, give communion back. So that is something we can look. But wait, what, what did you see? I see that even suffering or happiness, nothing lasts forever. Yes? Only being joyful in the Lord is forever. That is what I see. So suffering or joy or happiness, nothing lasts forever. So I, 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 I expect and I hope and I pray that this Christmas, I will walk the aisle. That is what I plan. And thank you very much for your support and for your prayer. And thank God. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace.